Hello and welcome to Ecom Premium. Today we are going to see how you can integrate Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager and you can track events like purchase events, sales events in Shopify. So we will see full tutorial and uh, here let me show you like here in if you click on preview we have a Shopify store we have tag assistant added on over this Shopify store so we are going to click on connect here you see that we are on our store now and we will be going to track purchase event like full purchase event in here okay you have to click on a product and after going to product we will purchase it by clicking on add to cart okay then we are going to check out okay so here in here now we have to click on continue here you see right now we don't we have only add to cart here right it's just fired we will click on add to cart so we will be just entering them data to make a purchase and then Report and we are also adding some discount code. So we are going to apply it. Okay, apply successfully. Now it's zero and uh, continue to shipping. So here you see. Is processing and they're saying that this is free so you can continue to payment in here you see it's saying that your order is free no payment is required but still we are making a purchase because we just want to track this purchase event in Google tag manager using custom events purchase okay we have successfully purchased it and in here you see our purchase event has just fired we will confirm it clicking on it here you see that uh, we got the purchase event successfully with these parameters and uh, in here you see that we also got these details so this was the reason and uh, in data layer you see that We got these things and in the purchase event you see we got this data successfully in Google Tag Manager purchase event. How we do this we will be showing complete tutorial in this video. Keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Okay, here you see now we'll be starting the complete tutorial of how you can integrate Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager for custom event purchase tracking in this video and you can also do the tracking for all other events. So first of all you have to go to your store theme. These are the initial steps you must have to do for data layer tracking. And in here you have to go to edit code first of all we will be going to create and snippet okay here you see we are in the snippets you have to create a snippet called data layer that all pages dot liquid after creating this snippet this snippet file uh, you have to go to theme dot liquid and you have to include this piece of code here so 
like this we have included our that snippet here in the theme of liquid and after including this in theme.liquid you have to go to your settings and in the checkout you have to attach the script here in the checkout under checkout settings in the script section so you you see that we have already attached the script here in the additional script section after attaching it you have to go to Google Analytics we are all done with our Shopify backend side so in the analytics you will see that you will get Google Analytics 4 may say that uh, Google Analytics will no longer process data so you can convert ship to GA4 Google Analytics 4 so in here you see that we will be going to select our Google Analytics 4 copy from here <clears throat> so in here you see that we have got conversion purchase here we just did you can also track all your conversions in here in the google analytics as well and in e-commerce overview you will see that we are getting all the details related to our Shopify purchase events. In here you see e-commerce conversion rate is 50%. We got three transactions so far, and uh, in here we have three transaction track already. So this was the reason. So in this, you have to click on settings here, and from settings you can go to. Google Analytics for Setup Assistant and from there you just have to copy your this um, Google Analytics for You have to go to your Google Analytics 4 setup here and then in the user in admin and account settings and in basically uh, we will just find that how Okay, here you see we have already connected property like this one. And in here, you can click on get started. And in here, you can click on We have already created property. If you haven't created it, you can just simply create one from the very beginning. After creating Google Analytics for setup in here in Google Analytics, you will be given 
this all like here. In Google Tag Manager, you can simply move on to Google Tag Manager. And you can connect this with your Google Analytics GTM. You can easily integrate Google Analytics 4 with your Google Tag Manager. And after integrating, you have to go to Workspace and you have to add your shop first all like this. And uh, after adding it, you'll get this window. And uh, now the next step will be like you have to add some variables, some tags, and triggers. So you have to go to tags. In here, you can add purchase tag like this. You have to click on new here, and then you have to click on tag configuration. From here you can select Google Analytics 4 or uh, if you are just going to connect Google Tag Manager with your Google Analytics 4 configuration um, at the beginning you have to connect GA4 with Google Tag Manager by using this option here and then this one is for like purchase event from here you can select Google Analytics all pages tag in the event name you can give it this name in the event parameters you can give some parameters and just like this um, here let me show you in purchase event you have to add these parameters names and you can in the triggering you can give some custom event purchase like this and uh, you have to select purchase tag from here like this so after selecting these how to give these event parameters you have to go to your tag and then click on new like here in new you have to choose an event from here you have to select all pages here you have to give the name purchase the name of event if it's add to cart you can give add to cart purchase or shipping in event parameters you have to click on add row here you can give the parameter name like item or even you can use it name like this and then you click here and here if you haven't added any variable let's uh, we are giving it the name item underscore id you have to click on here if you don't have that variable here you can click on this one plus button click on variable configuration from here you can select data layer variable and in here you can give the data variable name and then from here you can simply click on save it and it will be saved there in the variables like these already have so you have to simply click on the variables from here like this for item underscore id you have this variable value and uh, so these variables are already defined in the data layer snippet we have added in the beginning of the shop file so this way you can add multiple events values parameter names and with values so we already added one so so after adding this you can simply click on preview and when you click on preview here you see 
that we have to click on connect and don't forget to add tag assistant from extension for your shop first store okay after then you have to click on any product and once you will click on add to cart you see that an event has been fired already here if you click on connect you see add to cart event has just fired all pages tag has fired two times if you click on this you will see all the information you can also get that that information from data layer in the add to cart like this you see that this product has been recently fired and this alloy accessories you see here it is alloy accessories right so this was the complete tutorial on how to add and track google analytics 4 with google tag manager for purchase events in your analytics and after then you see that you can have it and you can view it on your analytics as well as on your google tax manager so you see we have this session we just did one session like this one minute ago now you can also find out from here conversions and the goals you see that In the e-commerce, <coughs> hmm, sorry, uh, here in the e-commerce, you see that uh, if we click on overview, so this is the details, and uh, in here, shopping behavior, checkout behavior. Okay, so here you see that uh, we have these sessions calculated with transactions and these are the first step. Sessions with transactions is giving you the full information for purchase details here. So this is the complete tutorial on how we can get details for all the events happen in your live shop or store i hope you like the video and you understand the concept of how you can integrate google analytics for with google tag manager with the use of data layers snippet in shopify because you know shopify is recently not supporting google analytics 4 yet it's only putting Google Analytics like this one and uh, once it's sporting started sporting Google Analytics 4 you will have the enhanced e-commerce tracking but um, yet uh, we are already as you can see we are already tracking all the custom events happening in our live shop store thanks for watching have a great day Bye-bye.